Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. This is the 8th Gen AN515 edition. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. We're going to go all the way around the outside of this computer, take out all the screws, all the way around the outside edge. You get these screws in the middle here, and we're gonna need to take out this screw for the hard drive cover right there. So after you have all those screws taken off, we're gonna pop open this hard drive cover, put a pry tool in, in this corner right there, pop that hard drive cover up, and then you're gonna see your hard drive exposed in the caddy right there. This caddy has four screws, two on each side, these two, this one, and this one. We're gonna take out all those screws, and when you do that, grab this tab right here on top, pull the hard drive out carefully, and then unplug it from this connector right there. Once you do that, uh, we can take off this bottom case safely. So after that's done and all the screws are out, you're gonna take a small flat pry tool. I generally suggest plastic pry tools because they scratch your computer less, but in this case, I needed a metal one. I needed that extra strength. Um, the plastic pry tool wasn't getting it done. so. Uh, in this case, I'll suggest a, a metal pry tool. And you're gonna go along this seam right here. You're gonna flip your computer over again. This is your bottom case. This is your touchpad and your palm rest here. And that's your seam. You're gonna get in there and slowly go around the entire seam, pry it up from the bottom case. When you're done, you can even press down here. When the hard drive's gone, you can press down there and take up the bottom case once you've uh, pried it up all the way across. After you've removed your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm operating on a computer, I have it sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything when you're working on your computer. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the uh, tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also in that list will be a list of all the replacement parts and upgrade parts for this specific uh, Nitro 5. Now before doing anything in a computer, guys, the first thing I do is either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safer to work on a computer when as little power as possible is running through it. So I'll show you how to remove the battery if you want to and how to unplug it. So here's your battery right there. To get the battery out, you have a screw here on the right and here on the left. You would take those screws up and then this battery plugs in with these wires right here on the motherboard and it's a pretty easy plug. You don't wanna pull on wires in a computer as much as possible. You wanna just manipulate the plug if you can. So with this plug, it's very easy. You'll see in your computer, guys, is a grip right here on the left and on the right, so you can use your fingernails and pull it out, or you can use a pry tool and push it out of this port, but that's how you would get that battery out. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. This is your solid state drive right here, this blue board right there. It's a single M.2 port, NVMe. This actually supports Gen 4 solid state drives in here. So I don't know what you guys have for stock in there, but in that link that I told you about with all the replacement parts and upgrade parts for this computer, I'll try to have a 500 gigabyte option, a terabyte option, and even a two terabyte option for those of you that are here to upgrade. So the way that you work this is there's a single screw right here. You take that screw out, it will release the board, and then you can pull it straight up towards your battery out of this M.2 port. And again, this can take Gen 4 solid state drives if you're looking for that. A last side note in this video, guys, after replacing your solid state drive or after upgrading it, you're gonna need to install an operating system to the drive. So I will have two video links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10. One will show you how to install Windows 11 for free in this computer. So I hope this helped you out. That's how you access your solid state drive in the Nitro 5. 
So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.